Greetings. Hello there. Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel once again. Nice to have you. Pretty quick one this time. Code snippets. Normally used in the front end of your website, but we can also add them to the admin, don't you know? And there's a couple that I use on every site build. The first one I'm going to show you is a given and I can't remember what I didn't last have it in a site. And the second, I actually thought I'd made a video on this already, but I haven't, so here it is today. Anyway, the two snippets we're talking about is putting a nice featured image on your post lists in the admin, you know, your list of posts, featured image down one side. Very useful, nice good UX, visual UX. And the second one is adding custom CSS in your admin. Very useful in all sorts of ways. So let's crack on. Here's a couple of rather nice code snippets for your WP admin. Right then, so got a fairly standard install of WordPress going on here with my starter block theme installed. Check out the link in the description. You can download a copy for free. My go-to for kicking off a block theme project every time. If we go to posts, we see that we do indeed have a list of posts. What we need is a nice featured image somewhere over here. So I've got the code editor open. This is the theme files here. And right about here, I've got a little snippet for you to add the feature image to the post list in WP Admin. A couple of filters that are in use here. Manage post columns, that creates a new column for the image. And the manage post custom column puts a thumbnail in the column. Very good stuff. Let's copy that and we'll open up our functions PHP. Now you can put this snippet anywhere, you know, in your child theme, if you're not using a custom theme or one of those code snippet plugins where you put it in there, which I'm not a fan of. Create a child theme, check out the tutorial for that. So we're just gonna get that and throw it in, save that back to our post list. Boom, piece of cake. Now we're straight on to the uh, second snippet now. Lightning round, here we go. I don't know about you, but that's probably a bit too big, the thumbnail. I think that should be smaller, right? So we open this up in Inspector. Let's hit inspect that image. And if we add a new rule for its parent container, and we say parent class, and then onto the image so that is actually targeting the image and we say width 50 px height 50 px the thumbnail itself is square so we don't have to worry about aspect ratios or stuff like that maybe a little small 70 are we happy with 70 maybe 80 yeah that feels comfortable so we're going to copy that rule head back to our code editor and in our functions we'll just pop that there just for a second go back to our snippet file all download links will be in the description for this file so this is our add custom css to the wp admin snippet we add an action to put something in the head so it's just like wp head on the front end but it's for the admin and we create a function that essentially just echoes out styles and we can paste in our css as we need it and like i said this is the dirty version we should be using admin in queue scripts if we were doing it properly down and dirty that's how we like it so let's get that in and then we just pick up our CSS that we copied from the inspector. Drop that in there, save that. Let's go back to our admin, close the inspector. And there we go. It is the right size. So yeah, just one other thing. If we inspect the table header for the image column, and that is that one. What I'm talking about is that it is a little wide for the size of the image, right? So we should make that a fixed width of say 100px. Just have it so it's just not breaking, wrapping the word. And we'll throw that in our CSS, function CSS, and that'll make everything a little tidier. Cool, there you go. Quickies, pretty swift, but if you need some more WordPress action, try this one for size. But until next time, I shall see you later.